How you feeling? Ooh. Yeah. Sweaty. Sweaty? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I'm surprised. I lost 50 bucks. Yeah. Oh man, this is even worse. This is even worse than when the Cubs didn't get into the World Series. I know. Man, what a rip. What an upset. That's going to be the upset of the century, folks. Oh yeah. But that's probably the only way, is if we raised like $8,000. $10,000. $10,000? What about big. if we buy her a new house? $515,000 and we yeah. get to buy her in the face. There's the conditions, yeah. The question is, is she happy with her? She loves that. Yeah. No, she, need, she needs a bigger house. feeling too hot. So I'm waiting for Jacob Jensen to come outside so I can give him a ride home. Uh, I had two plates of food, mostly stuffing because I don't eat meat, obviously. Um, so it was mostly stuffing and dessert and some veggies. And by the middle of the second plate, I started feeling not too great. Um, I'm a little better now. I drank a lot of water. So hopefully I can last through my shift at work and then just get home and relax, you know, uh, take a nap probably. We ended up bringing in 352 boxes of food for the food drive, which is great. That's like two more than we got last year, so that's really cool. I'm home now. It's... 7.10 approximately because the Suburban's clock is a little bit off. Uh, overall, this was a pretty good day. At the feast, a lot of people who graduated last year came back, like Zach and Christy and uh, Sally Martini. Uh, it was just really cool to see all these people. And Sally actually made me a bracelet. It's the, it's the one on top. Because the ones that I have keep breaking, like band bracelets. Whenever I try to take them off, they just split in two. Um, and this one's really cool. And it's handmade. And it looks like she made a bunch of people uh, bracelets. So, that was cool. Thanks, Sally. Uh, like I said a few moments ago, but in actuality it was like three and a half hours ago, I ate a lot more food than I thought I would. And I was feeling pretty pretty iffy by the end of the school day, uh, but I'm alright now. Like I said, I drank a lot of water, and I think I should be okay. It's 7.30 now, but there is one aspect of the feast that I forgot to mention that I kind of want to talk about. After we had the big town hall meeting and everything, and they explained how much money we raised and how many boxes we ended up filling, they said, okay, now Amanda's home room, come on down and help us pack all these into a truck. And I immediately thought, well, okay, crap. So most of the home group ended up leaving and it was mainly me, Jacob Jensen, Fian, and Tristan. And there may have been other people outside helping to pack, but I didn't see any of them in the gym. Now, this is how I described it to Jacob Jensen, who was standing next to me as we were passing boxes along in like the least efficient way possible. Next to me were two middle school girls who... Every time there would be a very light box, they would go, 
Oh my god! Thinking it was funny, and it was funny the first maybe two times. After that, it just gets really annoying. And they would just keep talking, and they were slowing us down. And as I said to Jacob, this is what I imagine hell would be like, except we would be making no dent in the amount of boxes, and everything would be on fire. Because if there's one thing I hate, if there's two things I hate, it's lack of progress and complaining. You get two choices when you're doing something like that. You can either complain every single time you're handed a box, or you can just get over it and try and speed things along so we can all get some food. That's it. I just wanted to complain for a little bit because, you know, there's always that little undertone of anger with me. It's never, it's never a perfect day. Okay. Gonna have some food now.